Well, this, uh, this is my third year of driving my car. Um, if you looked at any of my other videos, then you know a little bit about my car. And the batteries, after three years, batteries are starting to kind of deteriorate a little bit. So I started doing some research, and lead acid batteries have a tendency to uh, sulfate over the years. So is there really a way to recharge your batteries back to a healthy state if they've gotten to the point that they don't really hold a charge that well or won't even take a charge. What I've got here is two lawnmower batteries and if you look at this one here you'll see the voltage on it is it's around 11 volts and this battery will not hold a charge it doesn't um, it won't crank the lawnmowers anymore and then on this battery here it's showing almost three and a half volts and this battery will not even take a charge when I put it on the battery charger to it it just gives me a fault and will not charge at all so I have borrowed a unit that is supposed to desulfate and recondition the batteries and it's a 24 volt one so what I'm going to do is take these two 12 volt batteries hook them up in series so I have 24 volts and I want to put this desulfate or it's called a battery mender and leave it on there for a couple of days maybe a week and see if either one of these batteries get rejuvenated where I could possibly use them in my lawnmower again so we'll see how it goes alright I got the batteries hooked up in series so, and I checked the water in them, the water's good, I've got the battery mender hooked up to it. Right now with the red light flashing, it says the blinking red light, the battery not fully charged and the charger is in the float maintenance mode. And then the yellow light under the flashing red light means weak, sulfated, deep discharge. I tried to change it from a gel to a flooded, but pushing this button, which is supposed to change it, it's not changing. And as you can see, it's on the one amp. So I'm going to leave it on here for a little while, and we'll see what happens. Okay, here are my two batteries, and I've spent a couple of weeks working on them, and I've used the battery charger, and I've used some Epson salt. So we'll start with this one right here. As you can see, it was the one that was a little over 4 volts, but less than 5, and it's showing 12.72 right now. I've got the load tester hooked up to it, and the needle is above the good. So we're going to run the load test for about 10 seconds. So here it goes. And that ought to be about 10 seconds. And it shows us back good. So good things have happened with that battery. And then we come over here to this one. Let's go ahead and hook the load tester up to it. And we'll look back at the load tester. It shows this one is on the high side of good. So we're we'll run 10 seconds on it. So don't know what happened there. But this battery doesn't seem to be as strong as the other one. That's probably a good 10 seconds there. But it says it's back to good. So, what used to not be very good batteries, seems like they're working pretty good right now. So, I'll go put them back in the lawnmowers and hopefully I'll get some good use out of these batteries.